Ian, back to winning ways, but how are you feeling? I'm, I'm pleased for obviously winning the game, uh, Will. Uh, again, you know, I felt we played better with 11 men than when they went down to 10 men. I felt we just got a little bit of game, we just won too many touches on the ball. Um, and we got dragged into a bit of a, a brawl again in the second half and it suited them, didn't suit us. Um, and we've been fortunate in the end that we've got the, the own goal um, to give us the win. But again, you know, um, as, as I said, the one thing you won't ever find me is hiding behind the fact is that we are really lacking in that final third. Um, we got in some fabulous areas today. Uh, first half I thought we were outstanding as a team. I thought the whole squad come together, um, played some wonderful football, looked really good on the eye, um, but really looked like we're going to we haven't got really goals in us and in the second half they went down to 10 men quite quickly at the end of the first half and I felt we should go out there and really dominate the game and we didn't do that um, we got in broad in a, in a battle again which didn't suit us and in the end we've, we've been fortunate to get the win from, a, from an own goal but I'll take everything at the moment because, uh, because that's what we need with, with the week we've had and, and with the goals is it, is it of concern that it's a penalty and an own goal though? Of course it is, um, but I'm pleased for Joe. Obviously, it's a penalty, but obviously I thought today's performance was outstanding. I thought he led the line really well for us. It was a massive decision for me to, to give Sean a bit of a rest. I think it's been a tough season for him in terms of where we are. Um, and, and, and I thought he looked really sharp and bright when he came on. Um, and that's what we was looking for, a bit of a reaction. And uh, George, George did, did OK today um, for his first start. But I think you see, you know, it's going to take a while for us to get him up to speed in terms of where he is. But I thought he was outstanding the way he worked, and and it's a great upbringing for him to learn playing in the first team on a regular basis. So they're all good, good positives. Um, but I was pleased the way we, we we kept him out in the second half. They they used the long throw quite a lot. They used their set pieces quite a lot, and they're a big side. And uh, I was pleased the way we managed that in the in the last 15, 20 minutes. And you've had a lot of talk about the squad and and, and what you had available to you. How good is it to have players like Manasseh? Sunday and Devontae Stanley back and playing as well as they both did today. I think you see that they, you know, they're quality players, and uh, you know, as I say, we've still got Mitchell Vice and, and Romeo Akinola, and uh, they're good quality players. They're, they're Conference South players. We know that Minash has made a massive difference to our midfield, and Devontae you see today in terms of his attacking process, but also the defending side of it. I'm disappointed with their goal with one long ball again, which causes a problem. We didn't deal with it. People didn't get across and, and cover, um, and, and if we don't let them in the back in the game, then you know we can go and. Re relax and enjoy the game but as I say worst thing for me happened was half-time whistle came and it was again making sure that we do have things properly we spoke at length in the second half about um, starting the second half sharp I didn't think we did it and, and that's disappointing but we're quite a young side as I said to you you know we haven't got massive amount of leaders in there we've got boys that want to learn football and, and, and a fantastic they're fantastic players they're fantastic lads but you know we've got to we've got to get a killer instinct about us and at the moment I don't think we've got that and just on them, do you think their their poor discipline played into our favour or against us? The, a lot of yellow cards picked up. Do you think we exploited it as well as we could have done? I just listen. At the end of the day, we can only we can only do what we've done. Um, when you say poor discipline, I don't think there was anything in terms of in, in discipline. It was just really it was tackles, apart from the little melee that that, that Zane had with um, with Rowe. We both threw a ball in each other's face. The rest of them were just tackles, but there were tackles on players that had broken clear. And I thought, as I say, there's a time with Zane today and Devontae today and Manash today when we did break clear, you know, the only way they could stop them was by bringing them down. So great positives from our point of view in terms of them players breaking the lines and, and causing teams problems. Um, as I say, for me, massive three points. Massive three points from, from where we've been this week. Um, but we've got to take that forward to Tuesday now to Braintree. And that Braintree game as well, they've obviously in a completely different position to where they were last year. What are you expecting when we turn up there on Really Tuesday tough night? game. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be very, as I've said to you Will, and as I say, the one thing I don't, I don't lie and I've got no reason to is that you don't get any easy games in this league. Um, every team that's in it has, has got good players. Every team you play against are organised and got strength in certain areas and we have to overcome all of that. As I say, I felt today, first half, we were outstanding. Second half, I felt we, we didn't quite match what we needed to do in the, as we did in the first half. And as I say, the worst thing for, for me was when they went down to 10 men, it, it, it gave them a bit of a spur. They, they had nothing to lose in the end. They pushed bodies forward. Um, they virtually played 2v2 at the back in the, in the, in the last sort of 20 minutes. We just wasn't quite good enough to, to exploit them situations. And uh, they're things we have to keep working hard on. And hopefully um, we can change them things around. All right, thank you, Ian. Brilliant. Thanks, Will.